Well, hey, this is going to continue my seventh grade lesson. And I did in a video, I drew this character, and now I'm gonna draw a city background. Not um, a backyard with one tree and a straight line that's gonna be green and one that separates blue. That's not what we're gonna do here. We're going to create a perspective. Now that city, could be futuristic it could be um, in the past but we want to do something that makes a lot of sense and uh, what doesn't make sense is pointless trees and um, unless you're doing some sort of forest scene but there'd be lots of different kind of trees lots of different kinds of vegetation and we want to make sure you're showing what you're supposed to be showing. Now, I'm going to keep this somewhat simple. As you see, see, I put one point and I put some lines to guide me here. And um, I think I'm going to change this one here. I don't know if it's actually one from the character or not. And I'm going to raise it up a little bit. Um, it's usually harder to do it after the fact, but this is an overview, guys. You're not going to be perfect at this. But we're going to do, I'm going to draw a little bit of a city here, um, do some buildings. And I'm going to use these things as my guidelines. And I'm not going to have the buildings all next to each other. And I'm going to leave some gaps, but I'm going to start somewhat. And uh, so I'm going to round the top of this building. And let's see here. I'm going to grab my smaller ruler. I got to, had to make sure I was recording because I would hate to do all this again. And I have this nice tiny little ruler here. And I'm going to take advantage of it because oh, I need to go up a little bit. Since this, my, my story is a little futuristic, I can use this as my guide. And there we go. I go here and I have the same line go there. I'm gonna erase my extra drawing lines. And I'm gonna follow this, but I'm gonna follow it here. It goes up a little bit. And I'm going to bring that all the way down. And now give me my windows there. Just two large ones. And then I'm going to erase this here. And put a line straight so you can see the side of the building. And I think I'm going to need a sidewalk. Don't you guys think I need a sidewalk? I think it doesn't need to be that thick. So I'm going to use a ruler. Now if you're using one of my metal rulers you go the opposite way and it shows you the distance you're going to have in between. And what I like to do is I like to do a double. See how thin I made that? Because it's going to be the curve of the street, even if it is future. And watch how I'm going to do the lines. It's going to be parallel with the paper and go down. How's that for a sidewalk? Straight with the bottom paper line and then down where the curve is. And then I get a little closer as I get further. Oops, maybe that's a little too close. Too close, too fast. And I just keep going down like that. And then, you know, I can put some doors. I got to follow these lines. Oops. Let's see, I got it all messed up now. I'm trying to teach you something that I'm not doing a very good job with. And um, uh, you know what I, I know what I messed up on. Watch this. I'm going to have to erase. But even Mr. O sometimes makes a mistake when he's not paying too close of attention. And watch what happens when he takes the eraser and now the perspective is there. There you go. I'm recording and making mistakes, but that happens. 
okay? So I'm gonna keep drawing details in my buildings. You don't need to have me show every little thing. And now because I have that, everything is going to probably work out. I say probably, because who knows? And, um, cause yeah, there we go. Got that door fixed. And, um, you know, I'm gonna put a moon over here because he usually comes out at night, but the moon has been just partially cracked open. So I wanna make sure I put that crack and then little chunks floating because that'll be, it'll make it more difficult to, to color. So I'm going to basically show you a finish um, after I go, but I just wanted you to see how I start it. Now your city can be a cityscape where you kind of have a flat, flatter city where it's more of a skyline. And I have like a skyline, I can show that example too, um, where then your character's in front of a skyline. That might be easier than trying to do perspective. Um, I don't know what your level is, but if you're somebody who likes art, do challenge yourself a little bit. I will do more lessons on perspective. Things are going to be a little different this year. All right, guys, I'm going to work on this. And uh, you guys, be original. Make sure you get approval. And we'll talk real soon. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm going to cut in here because I made some changes to my example. And of course, I, that would have been probably nice for time lapse. I still have some extra lines that I will erase and stuff, but this is going to be my finished sketch. But I want you to take a look at my city. I still got to put a lot of details. I kept my building somewhat simple, but my sidewalk has become a skywalk. And I have cars, flying cars and two lanes of traffic. And if when I color this, you'll see that in the background, maybe I'll, I'll, I can put a building going at an angle right here so you can see the roof um, and stuff like that. Let's get that up a little higher. There we go. And um, so you can see that this is a futuristic city. Um, the buildings aren't as simple as just these windows with cross beams like everyone likes to draw, that I'm trying to be creative with it. And um, I just want to point out these little bits of detail. Um, when I get this finished as a sketch, this is where I would ask the art teacher or I would go to a final paper. Um, and then after I get the final paper, let's say this is the final paper, this is where I would take a ballpoint pen or an ink pen. Um, if you're in class, I'll have Sharpies, which I believe we, we're going to be able to use, and we're going to outline everything, and I will demonstrate how to, I have a video on that, uh, how to do an uh, ink outline, and then we will figure out um, uh, how to color and what we'll need for that. Um, thanks, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>